what is normal to all of us. We go to work and we have our families and our kids. They go to school, they're involved with sports teams and art programs and ballet. The kids that we serve, many of them never had that experience. They never had someone that cared to be able to sign them up for something. They never had the opportunity, the option to just grow. When you talk about these kids who have come through state agencies quite often or have come from psychiatric hospitals, the first thing that people look at is, well, what's wrong with them? What are, what, what's the pathology? What is the difficulty? Part of the idea of all of this work is to really say, no, 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 we're actually here to help you function as a human being with the hope that as you're getting older, you'll be having more skills, you'll be able to deal with some of these difficult things that have happened to you, and you'll be a, quote, normal person. Normalcy means giving kids that are typically in treatment programs and kind of have all these stigmas attached to them the opportunity to do something um, that most other places wouldn't. I might go to a therapeutic day school all day, which is different than what my friends do, but I'm going to play on an organized sports team and have a quote unquote normal sporting experience because we have uniforms, there's expectations, we have practice every week, and I'm committed to being on this team. As a coach, I treat every player the same exact way. I'm not gonna treat Susie different because she has Asperger's and Mary because she's oppositional defiant, that I'm actually gonna coach them the exact same way. And what I've found is the kids rise to the occasion because they want to feel normal, that I am actually Susie. Though they're not going to become an NBA basketball player, they may see how basketball can help them in life and in the classroom um, and at their job. What they can do as a person, how they can develop, how they, they can become committed to something, how they can persevere how they can boost their self-esteem, and how they can encourage others and have empathy for others. So when they come into our gym or they come into our group therapy experience, we can provide them a team, we can provide them normal youth interactions, we can provide them with teenagers and other kids that they can become friends with. We provide an atmosphere where they can just be normal. And this is part of their treatment to learn how to interact and skills like friendship making, skills like interacting in a pro-social manner that are very, very valuable to their lifelong treatment. This program is all about skills. Um, if it's all about them feeling confident, if it's all about them uh, being able to get out of themselves and interact with other people, that, that's what our, our, our world values. I mean, you can't succeed in anything unless you can communicate. These are kids who, who can't communicate, can't look you in the eye when they speak with you, but they learn to look in each other's eyes. They learn to speak to the other children. They learn to work out their differences with the other children. I mean, those are life skills that, you know, you just can't teach. You could talk to them about them to your blue in the face. This gives them a chance to, to do it. And sports is one of the ways that when they get out there and somebody says, what did you do yesterday? I played football. Oh, yeah, what are you going to do today? I'm going to jog. I'm going to, because normal people do it. And these kids have been stereotyped. They just want to be normal. And sports becomes a way that they can do it. You can't get that experience where real life plays itself out in a basketball game. I hate to say that sports is the microcosm of life, but you know, it really is.